Some of the big stories we have been following since you've been at work. And first up for you right now this afternoon on Thursday of this week, anyone 16 and older will be eligible to get that COVID-19 vaccine with three vaccines out there, Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson. State officials are hoping right now to get as many people vaccinated as possible and as quickly as possible. Today, in fact, we spoke with some younger people who will soon be eligible. Many were pretty excited for that extra protection. My parents are older, so um, they're a little concerned about being more susceptible to it. Um, I'm not so much worried about myself. Um, it's mainly my kid, my, my nieces and nephews, and, uh, and my parents. Now, the governor did announce yesterday they will allow priority access for those medically high risk. So if you're 16 and older and have a disability, you could get the shot before others starting again on April 1st of this week. Joining us this afternoon is Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne with more details on what this means for everybody. Christian, uh, they created a list of specific conditions, right? Yeah, that's right. And that list includes people that are high risk, including people who have sickle cell disease, active cancer treatments that are Down syndrome, as well as people with intellectual and developmental diseases. Mark. So Christian, right now, I think they estimate about 10,000 people or so fall into this group. Um, how are they going to handle all of those people signing up in addition to, you know, everyone else or, or making this a priority, I guess? Yeah, so according to the state, they said that hospitals and the Department of Developmental Services will hold dedicated clinics. They were also told to do outreach and reach out to these people who are high risk. On top of that, um, again, the, with the dedicated clinics and coming up at five, we speak to a 23 year old who has Down syndrome and is very excited to get the shot once he is eligible on April 1st. So you'll hear, hear his story coming up tonight at five. We're live in Norwich, Christian Cologne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.